Hormones are not all the same thing. They're not all good and they're not all bad. They're not even all the same thing. Estrogen is different than progesterone, which is different from testosterone. When you take it by mouth and it's high doses for your whole body is very different than a local vaginal hormone that can protect you from urinary tract infections. I'm Dr. Rachel Rubin. I'm a urologist and sexual medicine specialist, and we are answering all the questions about local vaginal hormones, which protect you from urinary tract infections and will save your life. So what are systemic hormones? When we talk about systemic hormone therapy, that is like uh, an estrogen pill or an estrogen patch that can help your hot flashes, protect your bones, and will treat menopause symptoms as a whole. That is very different than a local hormone therapy, which is very low dose, localized hormone, low, low dose. So you cannot measure it in your bloodstream and it fixes the uh, 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 microbiome of the vagina and the bladder to prevent urinary tract infections. It will also make sex not painful. It will help with dryness, irritation. It will help with urinary frequency and urgency. But there is a big difference between whole body systemic hormone therapy, that is not what this is about, and low dose local vaginal hormones to treat the genitourinary syndrome of menopause. So it's really important that you know the difference it's also important that if you are on whole body hormone therapy, you still might and often require low dose vaginal hormones to help your GSM or genitourinary syndrome of menopause symptoms. And it doesn't add risk, it doesn't add danger, and it really is often necessary to help your urinary and genital symptoms, even if you're on whole body hormone therapy in menopause. So it's really important that you learn about both.